Hey y'all, welcome to Toadstead. Okay, well in the last installment you saw us put up the uh, posts here and now we've begun to put the horizontal pieces in. And if you look over to the left of the screen you can see we had to tie into the shed there and I just used some scrap pieces. Yeah, could I have gone ahead and put a full size piece in? Probably, but I saw no reason. I don't really care. Looks aren't important. It will be plenty strong enough. Now we did measure back from the edge the width of the pickets and the widge, the width of the two by four to get the good setback. So it'll be, you know, pretty close to even with the back of the shed as we go. Um, what we're going to do here is show you pretty much how uh, I did it. But there's a couple weird things here I just want to show you. You can see again towards the bottom of the shed. Let's get the finger in here. I didn't want to put anything in this area because if the shed needs to be releveled or you know messed around with which is sitting on blocks it probably will at some point in time I won't be able to take it apart pretty easy and deal with it uh, could have been a post there and got away from it hey maybe this is just the way I decided to do it it did leave this a little higher than I like so normally we would cut off the little bit extra here to get halfway which I'll show you in a minute but what we're gonna end up doing is just lowering this down, the next one down that goes across. But for now, let's just show you where how we got to this point. All right, here you can see where we cut off the uh, top, right there. Missed it by about three quarters of an inch. Not too too bad. Not not upset with that at all. Normally we would do all of them like that in preparation for the next three but because we're going to actually be going under this one and under this one here I'm not gonna bother we're just gonna bring it out even with the second post but let's go ahead and get started all right we're just gonna go ahead and throw in a screw kinda in the vicinity of where this side's going to be. And then we'll take our 2 by, put it up on the screw, and we'll get our first screw in this side. In this case, I'm putting in, in this case, I'm going to try and put in the bottom screw because obviously I'm going to have to, I can tell by here that I'm going to have to lift. That I'm going to have to lift this side just a little bit. Just throw a level up on it. And it's just resting on that screw there. We'll get this screw started. Now this is the end of the gate. So I'm not going to worry about putting anything there get that screw started and that works out just about right and then the screw we were using as the rest becomes the second screw all right now we'll just do that with all the rest of them well all right there you can see we started doing some pickets, a little bit of go fever, but uh, you can see where we dropped down over here, got up underneath these two, kept the top the same, and then cut it off level because this is where the gate is going to go. But pretty much that's how we do it. If it helps you, cool, but uh, putting up a fence ain't all that difficult. Again, the only thing I would have liked to have done was had these horizontals a little bit lower to the ground, but... When you see what I'm going to do in the future, you'll see why that's not such a big deal. But cool. We got this done. We're going to finish picketing this, and we'll be ready to move on to the next thing. Great, right, y'all. Fair winds. We'll see you next time around.